Sometimes we come across a location in a game that we're not supposed to get into. And if you're anything like me, it becomes difficult to resist the urge to break the game and find out what's on the other side. And sometimes what we find on the other side can be pretty surprising. Thanks to the many out of bounds discoveries I found out about since making the last video, today we're diving into the top 10 things that were found out of bounds in a video game, part 2. Super Mario Sunshine. This is one of those things where you have to wonder, how the hell did anyone notice this? Outside the bounds of Pinna Park and Super Mario Sunshine, there's an odd discovery to be found if you glitch yourself underneath the map. Sitting next to whatever the hell this thing is, if you were to angle the camera just right while underneath the intended playable area, a question mark is suddenly revealed underneath the surface of the ground. And if Mario were to touch it, he gets snapped? Well, it gets even stranger than that. If the player can angle the camera underneath the surface of the ground, the question mark actually transforms into this thing. What the hell is this? Apparently this is a cut enemy, referred to in the files of the game as Kug. The weirdest thing about this is there's no other 2D enemy like this anywhere else in the game, which makes for a sharp contrast in a fully 3D game. Further fueling the mystery, the shock it gives Mario upon touch leaves some players speculating the Kug's placement is actually a placeholder for a totally cut enemy, one that assumably has something to do with electric what that enemy is supposed to be and why it was sitting underneath the map in the first place is still unknown. Time Splitters, Future Perfect. In the level Breaking and Entering, there's a sequence where you have to hack into this security system and through the use of first person views through mounted cameras, you watch and remotely defend a mysterious woman breaking into this facility. In this scene, a room appears that the player never actually physically enters, only appearing through the temporary view of this camera. That is, of course, unless you've obtained a Codebreaker's disc, and used the Disable Collisions code to get yourself inside this room before ever reaching the security camera scene at all. Once you're inside the room, you can explore the room from every possible angle that you couldn't see through the view of the camera. Right underneath where the camera was, you can find what else but... Uh... Bananas? Now why would this be here in a spot that no player could ever possibly see without hacking the game? Some investigative players have suggested the bananas may be here as a target for the enemies to shoot at when they enter the room. But the question still remains, why bananas? Although the theory that the enemies may be shooting at the bananas makes sense, it doesn't fully look to me like they are shooting in the direction of the bananas. Maybe. This is another one for the ongoing list of unsolved mysteries. MX vs ATV Unleashed In MX vs ATV Unleashed, if a player manages to get far enough out of the bounds of the playable environment, the game has an interesting way of ejecting the player back into the game world. What's awesome about this out of bounds easter egg, not only is it fun as hell, it's actually a running gag in multiple Rainbow Studios games. Appearing in the game's Motocross Madness, ATV Off-Road Fury ah! oh! and even features an interesting change-up in the game Splashdown. That's a little creepy. Dude! Call of Duty Modern Warfare If you saw my last video on this subject, I covered a still interactive RPG weapon sitting out of bounds on top of a building in Advanced Warfare that belonged to one of the older titles in the series. Well, strangely enough, a very similar instance actually happened in the original Modern Warfare. First you have to get on top of this dilapidated wall, strafe jump to the top of this roof, and boom, you're out. Not too shabby. Now you just make your way all the way to this spot, and you can find a fully operable World War II style machine gun floating in the air just like the other gun was. Why does this keep happening? Funny enough, there's an extremely easy to miss reference to this glitch in the 2016 remaster. 
If you were to try to get out of the bounds the same way as before on this rooftop, you'll notice how they put a caution sign right in the spot you could originally slip through the level. Nice little nod to that original mistake. I also read in a lot of places that they sealed the spot with an invisible wall, but not sure where they're getting that from. Turns out all they did was add the sign. As you may have thought, the misplaced gun was removed from the out of bounds spot in the remastered edition, but there's still a number of interesting things that you can find out there. Pokemon Crystal I had a comment from the last video telling me to cover the ghost girl of Glitch City. While the name certainly piqued my curiosity, it sounded to me like one of the many, many ridiculous Pokemon creepypastas out there circulating the internet. But I thought, hey, I'll look into it. Maybe this one is different. Unfortunately, Game Boy Pokemon games in cartridge form are pretty airtight when it comes to breaking out of the bounds. But with the use of an emulator, you can disable collisions at the beginning of the game and walk right through the walls. Now you just save the game at this exact coordinate, shut the game off, reload the save file, and boom. Welcome to Glitch City. As the name suggests, this is a pretty glitched city. But if you manage to navigate your way through Glitch City without the game crashing on you, sure enough you'll find the ghost of Glitch City. Wait a second, is that the same ghost from Pokemon X and Y? No, you're not the one. Ugh. In certain instances, you can even enter a battle with her. But the text string for her name is so long it instantly crashes the game. But with some additional hacking, the Ghost Girl's character class can be reassigned and auto input can be disabled, which will reveal to us the real identity of the Ghost Girl. Leader Kara? Oh, well she doesn't seem so bad. Kara is a character who appears later in the game in a location called the Dragon's Den. But what she's doing here in Glitch City is totally unknown. And if you manage to defeat her, you're suddenly teleported to this location where eerily you'll hear a phone ring. And then the game crashes. We can only wonder what that phone call would have been. Borderlands 2. This player found if you got out of bounds on the map the Rust Yards, and looked up in the distance at the boat in the environment at an angle you were never supposed to look at. You can spot an unusual flashing texture on the model that never appears anywhere else in the game. If we zoom in on this image, we can actually see that the texture says missing material. Okay, well nothing weird about that, right? Just a missing placeholder texture. Well, not so fast. Borderlands 2 actually uses the Unreal Engine 3, which means it already uses its own default placeholder texture for any missing files, which even appears during this fail if you take a peek in the mineshaft of Caustic Caverns. As you can see, when it's the Unreal Engine 3, it places this checker box when there's a missing texture. Considering the developers of Borderlands 2 would have had to go out of their way to create the additional placeholder texture, and gave it an unnecessary animation only in this exact spot. The common speculation is that this was put here as an easter egg, but based off of the other things that I've covered on the channel, I'm more inclined to believe this is yet another form of developer motivation from one to another in reminding someone into doing their job. I mean look at that, they made it flash and everything. I wouldn't think anyone would be able to miss that, but, well... Wait a second, did Alan work on this game? Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword Players found a hidden treasure chest sitting a short distance out of bounds of Karain's room if you were to walk in this direction. But honestly, I wouldn't open the- oh, you did it anyway. Sorry Link, I tried to warn you. Battlefield 3 Shout out to Life is for Living for letting me know about this in the comments of the last video. In Battlefield 3, players discovered if they got far enough out of the bounds on the first level of the single player campaign. A helicopter randomly comes crashing out of the sky. The player can actually enter it and then explore the level at every angle. 
The weird thing is, is a pilotable helicopter was never intended for single player campaign at all. With no other copter you can pilot ever once appearing in the entire single player campaign besides this hidden out of bounds moment. Even stranger enough, the helicopter is completely indestructible. Everywhere you look with this thing, there's something you weren't supposed to see. Additional thanks to commenter Jason Dupree, who shared with me an even crazier out of bounds discovery in Battlefield 3. If you were to get out of bounds in a multiplayer match, you can actually find the end screen and customization screens physically sitting underneath the map, which can make for an unusual sight on the other player's screen. Resident Evil 2 A very odd discovery was found just out of bounds of Resident Evil 2 that once again can only be seen with the use of an emulator. After the scene where you encounter the liquor for the first time, Ew, get out of here. If you were to switch the resolution from standard ratio to widescreen while standing on this screen, you can suddenly see a disembodied head floating out of bounds of the frame of the screen, which normally can't be seen with the normal 4-3 aspect ratio of the original game. Well, that's certainly an odd head. Jokes aside, there's an explanation for this fellow odd header up in the ceiling. Originally when the player was to encounter the liquor, this scene was supposed to be introduced with this head dropping from the ceiling. Which some crafty gamers have managed to hack back together for us to see. The story goes the developers decided the human head wasn't going to fly with the publisher or the ratings board, so the head's animation was disabled at the last minute to avoid any censorship, but just the animation was disabled. Since the head in the ceiling goes unnoticeable in the normal aspect ratio of the game, it's unknown if the developer who disabled it failed to notice it was still left in the ceiling, or knew it was there and didn't give a shit. Tomb Raider 4 The Last Revelation In Tomb Raider 4 The Last Revelation, after sliding down the Great Pyramid in the next level loads, you need to make your way to the edge of this pit facing the platforms from the previous level. Now unfortunately there's no way to just get to that platform in the distance without modding so we'll have to save the game from here. And then use the position editor from Tomb Raider Chronicles.com to edit yourself to the position of that platform. Then you can continue making your way backward through the previous level as you progressed before. Once you get to this part however, there's an interesting temple sitting here that wasn't there before. And when you go inside... Wow. Turns out this is just the default missing texture in Tomb Raider 4, but being inside a room covered in such an unusual texture certainly makes for quite a striking scene. Well, I guess it turns out Tomb Raider did have a hidden nude scene after all. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. I got more videos like this coming at you here soon. If you know of another crazy out of bounds discovery that hasn't been covered in either of the two videos yet, let me know in the comments below or come join the Discord. Shout out to Pestline Sleeper, Kevin, and Dr. Love for their contributions on Patreon. Stay tuned.